Hello my friend, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a really interesting and I would say like tricky math question here in the middle of the screen, you can easily see it. We have 4 plus 4 divided by 4 and we have 1 plus 1 inside parentheses. And here is the main question for you, what is the correct answer, what is the correct solution to this question? So here we have three options, option A, option B and option C. So right now, choose one option and write your solution real quick down into the comment section in two or three lines, write your solution and you real quick, your answer, it will be really interesting to check our answers in the end of the video. And a lot of students might be saying, hey, mister, this is a very easy question. We have looks like addition, we have division, we have right here multiplication bit behind between this. Yeah, we have right here parentheses at this point and we have uh, addition. So it's not that hard. It's not integral. It's not a complicated uh, higher math stuff right here. We have basic thing, addition, uh, division, multiplica uh, multiplication and parentheses. So what is the correct answer? And a lot of students might be saying, hey, mister, I learned this stuff at school we need to go from left to right, we need to perform addition first from left to right, because this is the first sign from left to right, basically, yeah? So we have 4 plus 4 equal to 8, the next thing we have this expression, so let me just rewrite it, 8 divided by 2 and 1 plus 1 inside parentheses, so the next step is once more from left to right, because we are talking about left to right order, yeah? So 8 divided by 2 equal to 4 and times 1 plus 1 equal to 2, so a lot of students uh, say that correct answer is 8, because we need to perform it from left to right, we don't care about order of operation, we just go from left to right. And here is the main thing, because is it correct or not correct? We, we looks like solve it, we just go from, from left to right, but here is the main moment, because in terms of math, we need to know how can we solve this question correctly, how can we perform these mathematical operators in a correct order. And what I mean correct order? When we have right here addition, so we have right here addition, what do we have right here? We have division. We have right here parentheses, we have multiplication right here at this point, so multiplication, and we have parentheses, yeah, and inside we have addition, okay? So right here, we really need to know about a correct order of operation, so we need to perform it in a correct order, so we need to say, okay, for example, addition first, division second, multiplication third, so we need to know what is the correct principle, correct algorithm to perform these all mathematical, mathematical operations, because this is an absolutely random solution, we just solved this question absolutely randomly, we just start with addition, we have 8, the next we divide it by, by 2, and the last thing we multiply it by parentheses. So it looks like an absolutely random method, okay? And right now I'm going to show you the thing which is called PEMDAS. This is like the most popular order of operation nowadays. Uh, we are talking about the same thing with the bottom mass, this is also uh, the same thing with PEMDAS, this is absolutely the same the same thing. And we're talking about order of operation. And what I mean order of operation? This order of operation tells us what is the correct order to perform all these mathematical mathematical operations, because uh, right here, this is like a quick checklist. So for example, letter P stands for parentheses. And I want to mention one really important moment, because uh, letter P stands for parentheses, and letter P has the highest priority. So it means that we go from left side, uh, from left side to right side, okay? So we just go from left side to right side. So letter P stands for parentheses, so parentheses has the highest priority. So we need to perform it in a strict order from left, from left to right. So right now let's scan where do we have parentheses in our question. We can consider these parentheses or maybe this one or this one. It just depending on what country you live in. So for example, this type of bracket, this type of squiggly brackets, doesn't matter. So right now let's scan where do we have parentheses in our question. And to be honest, we have parentheses right here. So our first step in 99% of cases, we need to start with parentheses and doesn't matter what order of operation do you prefer. In 99% of cases, we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. So, to be honest, parentheses, it looks like a group and symbol. So, the first thing is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. Okay, so we have it. So, let's do this right now. First of all, rewrite this expression. So, we have 4 plus 4 divided by 2. And we have 1 plus 1 equal to, equal to 2. All right, so this is our first step. We just perform this addition inside parentheses. And right now, really tricky moment. I want to underline this thing right here because a lot of students arguing with each other. Here we have implicit multiplication. Here we have multiplication by juxtaposition. And, you know, this is a great thing because maybe you study in computer engineering, computer science, and you need to know about implicit multiplication. And this is up to you. How can you solve this question? Right now, I'm talking about basic order of operation, about basic PEMDAS, okay? Uh, 
uh, maybe like 90% of people use this PEMDAS and to be honest they don't care about implicit multiplication. We are talking about basic PEMDAS order, order of operation but there is the thing which is called PEMDAS and in this order of operation uh, in this order of operation multiplication by juxtaposition has the higher priority than basic multiplication and division. So it means that we should divide right here this by the whole by the whole product because this multiplication by juxtaposition has the highest priority and what I mean multiplication by juxtaposition there is the thing when we don't have um, the multiplication sign basically on where when we don't have a dot between these between these values between parentheses and here's exactly that case but I'm I'm not talking about pejim does okay because pejim does is like a special case you can easily solve this question according to this pejim does I'm talking about basic pem does order of operation and maybe most people all over the world use basic order of operation basic bar mass pem does or different like variation of it okay and I'm not talking about pejim does this is like a special case so you can easily if you need it you can also uh, use this order of operation to to uh, to uh, to mention that you have higher priority in, in this implicit multiplication so let me just erase all of this stuff let's forget about this pejim does if you need it you can also solve it I'm solve it according to basic pem does and 90% of uh, like a uh, scientific graphing calculator works according to pem does so let's solve it according to basic order of operation we don't need to use this with the complicated uh, variation with the implicit multiplication let's solve it according to basic pem does and according to basic pem does whenever we have like a uh, constant inside parentheses we can actually get rid of this parentheses first of all let me just uh, erase this underline right here and we can actually get rid of this parentheses inside parentheses we have only two so it's not like uh, it's not like uh, the hard stuff right here so we have four plus four divided by two and we have times because when we don't have it when we don't have the sign between it we can easily put right here dot our multiplication sign so times times two okay so right now let's go to the next step so we complete these parentheses part we, uh, we we actually get rid of these parentheses we add right here we evaluate it and we have expression without parentheses so everything is great so after parentheses we move forward to the next step the next step is exponent and right now let's scan where do we have exponents and what I mean exponent this is basic powers for example we have 2 square 4 cube like 3 to the power of 50 something like that so we're talking about basic power 3 50 and 2 and let's find our question in terms of these powers where do we have these powers and to be honest I don't think of those we don't have any four square we don't have it so we can actually get rid of this of this part all right so let's go to the next step the next step is multiplication division group and I want to mention it at once because this is one common group multiplication and and division it's not like multiplication first then division because a lot of students might be saying okay mr. right here we have multiplication so we need to multiply two times two but it's not work like that multiplication and division in terms of like basic order of operation are tied for priority or importance so we need to go we need to follow it in a strict order from left from left to right first of all let's underline where do we have multiplication because M stands for multiplication D stands for division let's find where do we have multiplication division sign so here addition we're not interested in that right here we have division yeah we're interested in that and we have multiplication so here's our next step and we can actually put imaginary brackets right here let's do this so just something like that only in our head that we need to evaluate this thing before addition because multiplication division has the higher priority than addition and subtraction but here is the main thing what do we need to do at first division or multiplication multiplication or division because in terms of them does multiplication comes first this letter comes first from left to right and it turns into a big argument how can I do this at the simple answer here we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right as I said before multiplication and division are tied for priority or importance so right here when we have for example two times 2 divided by 3 let's scan what the first sign we have from left to right and in our case we have multiplication so we need to multiply 2 times 2 at first but when we have a completely different a reverse like a completely different order when we have 2 divided by 2 or something like that we have 2 divided by uh, 2 divided by 2 and times for example 3 right here what the first sign we have from left to right of course we have division sign so we need to divide uh, divide at first so here's the main rule whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division or a stands for addition or addition and subtraction this is our last group right here whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division so this mixture of or the addition and subtraction we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right so let's underline it real quick and let's use this real quick sign that we need to perform it from left to right so what is the first sign from left to right of course is this division so we need to divide 4 divided by 2 so as a result we have 4 
plus let's keep this brackets right here only in our head we don't need it right now but it's it will not be a mistake when we when we keep it right here okay when we put it okay but right now let's keep it in our head so 4 divided by 2 this is our first sign from left to right so we need to perform it 4 divided by 2 equal to equal to 2 yeah 2 and we have times times 2 right here okay so times times 2 all right so right now let's go let's uh, follow it let's finally multiply two times two so as a result we have four plus two times two equal to equal to four so we complete we actually complete this multiplication part we complete this division part because we have only addition this is our last step and to be honest when you have addition as the last step this is absolutely great because you don't need this order of operation you can actually solve it real quick so four plus four equal to equal to eight so this is our correct answer to this question and i'm not sure but maybe in the beginning maybe in the beginning we had completely the same answer yeah it looks like that so our correct answer is eight and let's go in the beginning okay in the beginning we said that correct answer is eight and to be honest this is a very tricky moment right now because we solve this question absolutely randomly and we say that correct answer is eight which is absolutely good in terms of correct answer but not in terms of like solution because this is this is absolutely wrong solution because we solve it inter uh, we solve it with the random method we just addition first then division then parentheses this is very bad thing in terms of math okay so this is a correct solution correct solution to this answer so solution is okay absolutely okay and a correct answer so this is absolutely great solution according to this PEMDAS and sometimes happen it in terms of math when we solve this question and we have a correct answer but a wrong solution so let me just erase all of this stuff just forget about it of course 8 is a correct answer I agree with it but in terms of like solution this is absolutely wrong solution as I said before we did what we did before we we added first which is absolutely wrong because addition is our last step we just divided second step right here so the first step addition uh, the second step we did uh, division the third step right here we I, I i guess we did like uh, addition inside parentheses and the fourth step is multiplication which is absolutely wrong just forget about it let me just erase all of this stuff this is a very bad very bad uh, very bad thing because the correct uh, order is the next one as i told before parentheses first second step we need to divide we have division multiplication mixture but before we get rid of these parentheses basically yeah we have division second step multiplication third step and the fourth step is is addition so let me just underline like a quick like assessment about this question so let me just underline all of the steps so first step is parentheses in 99 percent of cases the first step is is parentheses the next step we will get like division multiplication mixture so basically we can easily divide as a second step and the third step is right here our multiplication right here we have and i'm not talking i want to underline it i want to mention it and uh, that i'm not talking about pejm does if you need it you can also uh, solve it according to pejm does where this uh, parentheses right here you will have higher priority so you need to divide this four by the whole product on the right side but i'm not talking about pejm does because pejm does is like a special case of pem does and i'm talking about the basic one i'm talking about pem does which is like extremely popular in europe in the usa maybe in india in uk people use botmas mainly but doesn't matter i'm talking about basic one and right here we have the fourth step this is our addition so this is a correct order this is like a quick assessment about my challenge and this is quick explanation you can also check it you can also look at it which is extremely great and here is the few hints about it because when you for example want to check it real quick with me you can easily plug in this question in your calculator but you know sometimes happen when those type of calculators work with problem as you type it in so for example you plug in this four plus four in your calculator and you know sometimes calculators give you for example right here gives you eight and then you plug in division parentheses at all you plug in all of this stuff so try to plug in the whole uh, entire problem so try to plug in from from left side to right side and the whole problem we have to plug in this one from this one to this one and then the calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation then the calculator see the whole problem you know the calculator see okay addition division we have addition right here division parentheses multiplication and then the calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation and of course it just depending on what order of operation your calculator uh, prefer because sometimes calculator works with with pagem does and you will have completely different answer sometimes calculator works according to pam does we, we will have a 
completely different answer because right here this J means implicit multiplication. We have it right here exactly. But to be honest, Pajam Das is like a special case. And in my experience, maybe 10% of people use this Pajam Das, maybe in computer engineering, computer science. And of course, whenever uh, this Pajam Das is mentioned, you know, when, when Pajam Das is mentioned, then you need to solve it according to Pajam Das. And you need to know yeah, that, that this implicit multiplication has the higher priority, all right? And of course, in 90% of cases, people use the basic PEMDAS, like simple people use PEMDAS without any implicit multiplication. And of course, you can easily check it in your calculator, in your internet library. People, it works, works like that. So well, let me just make a quick, quick research about it, quick, like, um, quick answer. So as I told before, we solved it according to PEMDAS. Correct answer is 8. Uh, when you say correct answer is C and the correct answer is A, well, you need to review a little bit your basic math because this is not a good answer. 5 is not a good answer and of sometimes 3 factorial is not a good answer as well. When you choose correct answer of B, well, you can easily be proud of yourself that you solve this question absolutely 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 great and uh, i really hope you enjoy it i really hope you understand my explanation i really hope you you understand my my solution my 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 explanation about this question i really hope you understand a little bit about this pemdas which is extremely important thing in terms of math because a lot of students forget about it a lot of students solve this question absolutely randomly but when you know pemdas when you know like bad math everything will be great so this is a correct solution to this question this is a correct answer to this question you can easily see this right here with this with these options yeah and of course you can easily mm, be proud of yourself when you solve this question and the correct answer for you is b when correct answer is a and c well you need to we need to think a little bit about what you're doing wrong because this is not a good answer nowadays this is absolutely wrong wrong solution okay so try to think a little bit about your basic math skills which is extremely important skills nowadays so thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and have a great day